The President's recent executive order to temporarily suspend entry for foreign nationals from seven countries we believe is lawful and constitutional, and the review ordered by the President is necessary and appropriate. It will enable us to, to uh, assess the adequacy and availability of information we need from all countries to adjudicate all visa applications or other benefits under our existing immigration laws and to determine if the person seeking the benefit is, in fact, who they say they are and would not present us a threat. While some, at, uh, some of the core tenets of this order are the subject of ongoing litigation, it is my belief that we will prevail and be able to take the steps necessary to protect our nation. Uh, in retrospect, I should have, uh, this is all on me, by the way, I should have uh, delayed it uh, just a bit so that I could talk to members of Congress, particularly the, the leadership of uh, committees like this, uh, to prepare them for what was coming, although uh, I, think, uh, I think most people would agree that uh, this has been a topic uh, of uh, President Trump, certainly during his campaign and during the transition process. Um, and uh, as we, as the great men and women, particularly of uh, the border protection people, as they unfolded that, uh, or started to implement it, I should say, uh, they got back to us with some su suggestions about how we could alter it. We did that as uh, I think the, uh, the order was signed or released at 1800 on Friday, 6 p.m. Uh, by uh, before midnight, we had made an adjustment. Uh, the next day, made a couple of other adjustments uh, to kind of fine tune it. Uh, we did have to uh, step back and kind of recock uh, that uh, in that first 24-hour period because of uh, action by one of the federal courts that that changed things a bit. So we had to kind of step back. Going forward, uh, I would have certainly taken some time to um, inform the Congress and uh, certainly. Uh, uh, that, that's something I'll, I'll certainly do in the future.